So, hey everybody, welcome to Musical.com and today I've got a massive guest for us. So, we have Germany's entrant for the Eurovision Song Contest, Jendrik. How are you doing? Hello! I'm, I'm, I'm doing great, how are you? I'm definitely more excited that you're that you have come on. I think I'm maybe more excited than you are. <laughs> but um, so yeah, I guess. <laughs> so I guess the first question is: We are very, very close to Eurovision. It's only it's less than a month away. How are you feeling? That's true. Uh, how am I feeling? I'm feeling. I'm feeling still relaxed. Like I'm actually right now. I'm a bit tired because I'm I'm doing my hate week right now. So. Mm -hmm. In the evenings, I don't go to bed after I did all the interviews or like the, the shootings and, and stuff. I go on, on the internet and read all the stories and screenshot them and put them in Photoshop. To, so I haven't had sleep in this week. So I'm really actually, to be honest, I'm just looking forward uh, forward to, to next Monday because then I can just concentrate on the Eurovision Song Artist. But because, because it's so important to me to talk about those topics, I put so much effort in it. But for my for my for my tiredness, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing you'll be drinking a lot of coffee then to cope. <laughs> I don't I don't drink coffee at all actually. No, like, I don't drink no because I'm so energetic all the time. The only thing coffee does with me is ra raising my heartbeat, and that's like it's not healthy for me at all to drink coffee. Well, I definitely need your energy then. Um, so I guess <laughs> the, the the your song I don't feel hate. Obviously, there's a clear message there. It's been talked about before, but can you just tell, give me an idea of what the inspiration for that was? Yes, well, um, the message is don't fight hate with hate. And the inspiration was a moment where I felt hate. So it was a, pers a person that was patronizing me and was like talking down to me and didn't, didn't take me seriously. And it really hurt because how she, uh, how they, how he, like in, per, in in German, we say she to person. That's why, like, well, it's yeah. it's they, right? In English, how they uh, how they talked to me was not nice, and I felt hate. And I was like, ah, oh, that person. Is so, yeah, okay. <laughs> but then I real, then I took a step back and I realized, no, 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 no. This doesn't do anything for you, Hendrik. You're just you're just getting grumpy because of it, and the other person won't learn anything from it. So I took a step back and. Yeah, and with that feeling, I wrote the song and went to that person and told told them that how they are treating me is hurtful, and it worked. So, mm -hmm. not bitching back was actually <laughs> pretty good. I guess I guess as well for a lot of people who struggle with these things, like you're you're out there giving that message to them that you don't need to feel hate. And a lot of people don't need, know how to deal with these situations, so you offer that sort of solution to them. Yes, I think it's a real, it's a very hard solution. I think it's very dif difficult to do. It's very difficult to not fight back because because of proud and because of pride and because of um, yeah, not feeling powerful. But I think it's the right way. Mm -hmm. Definitely, and so. With the music video as well, you directed it yourself. What was that? What was that experience like? <laughs> it was it was it was unreal. Like we shot it in one week. We started on Monday and we finished on Saturday, I think. And and then I cut it in four days. I cut the whole thing with a friend together. And yeah, it was it was unreal because like. I think the most effort I put into the organization of the whole thing. So the months, the weeks before that were very in my head, like, oh, I still need to do that. I need, I need that. I need that. And then half of it was improvised. Like the whole parking mm -hmm. park scene where, where where's the grass on the floor and she's picking up the trash. I did not know how the setting is going to look like, like mm -hmm. and, and the club. I don't know how I, I didn't I didn't know how I was going to put the washing machine so it looks like a club. We just improvised, and I just got some stuff before that to make it look like it could be some like. And we improvised half of this like we, the scenes we didn't improvise, but like the settings we improvised how they looked like, and luckily they all turned out very nice. Mm -hmm. I think one of the the striking things for me from the video, obviously, other than the message, was the amount of color. Like yeah. it's so colorful, and it's so like obviously energetic as well. 
But I was just going to ask, obviously, and I know you probably can't tell me, but are we going to see this sort of colour in May in Rotterdam? Are we going to see a colour explosion? Well, uh, not in that kind of, kind of. It's going to be a mix out of just a few colours to be stylish and then it's going to be just put colours on the stage because I love colours. So it's going <laughs> to be both of it at different times. And is there anything else you can tell us about it or is this a big secret? <laughs> no, I can, I can, uh, well, I, at the beginning I wanted to do a lot. I wanted to fly, I wanted to <laughs> throw with holy colours, but it's not all, it's not, nothing is, al is allowed. So it's going to be a stage performance. So we're okay. going to do a lot of stuff with, like we're just going to stay, like it's going to be a fun stage performance. And yeah, we're trying to get the message across, the I don't feel hate message. That's what mm -hmm. the LED content will try to achieve. Sure. And I guess um, you've you've seen the sort of stage in Rotterdam as well. It looks crazy. I guess that must be another thing to be really excited about. Oh, I'm so looking forward to that. Seriously, I'm so looking forward to that big stage. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. Um, I guess Another thing that's quite interested in me in, in your recent sort of public appearances and social media and things like that has been the way that when you have received additional hate, your creative responses. So how, how, how did that come about? Ah, it's just, it's just when I feel it in the moment, I just do it. It's, it's like, it's, it, I don't know how I came up with it. It's just, <laughs> just, it's just how the mind works sometimes in stupid ways. <laughs> Um, so would you say that Eurovision has always been a dream of yours or is it something that's come obviously as a musician it's it's something that lots of people want to do but sometimes it's kind of it just just kind of happens you know no, I think it's been a, it's been a dream since I was 17 18 years old like I didn't I didn't say it out loud because I was afraid of people saying oh this is weird but I started saying it out loud like a few few years ago during the during my college years. I said to my friends, "I'm going to stand on that stage one day, seriously." Mm -hmm. And uh, that it came true is like because I was sure that I was going to go to the Eurovision Song Contest one day. If I if I couldn't do it in my 20s or 30s, I would have done it in my 80s. You know, a ukulele <laughs> playing 80 year old tap dancing dude. Everybody would have laughed me. So maybe I'm, I will do that again in 80 years, but like not in 80 years, but then because then I'm 106. Oh, that would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Maybe I will do it again. But it was a, it was a dream, and it's uh, yeah, it's a dream coming true. Seriously, that's really that's really. I think for a lot of people who ne never get the chance, it's like when we see other people like yourself so excited about it, we can kind of feel a bit of that as well. You know, we can get yeah. behind that. Yeah, awesome. Uh, and so, obviously, Germany has a very long history in the Eurovision Song Contest. Yeah. So, if I was to ask you who your favourite German entrant of all time was, who would it be? Favourite German entrant of all time? Yeah. Is it, is, it, is it stupid if I say Lena? It's stupid, right? I should say something else. Mm. No, there's no wrong answer. Well, then... Ah, oh, then I just say the typical, most typical answer. I, I really liked Satellite. I, I mm -hmm. liked it. So it's probably the one that I can think of right now. Because I don't know the, like, of course I know the, the other winner song, but I'm thinking of other old ones. And I also liked very Eliza. Easy mm -hmm. right or easy wrong. I really like that one too. Yeah. I, the song. I really like the song, yeah. But I think Satellite is my favorite. I think for a lot of people it is as well. I think her stage presence was fantastic. And to come back the next year and try and defend it was pretty cool as well. Yeah. Um, I think another one I always kind of like, more for the meme value, is Genghis Khan. And oh, oh, Genghis Khan, yes, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, uh, that's, that's kind of... <laughs> And um, so obviously this year is really stacked with talent. I think compared to recent years, there is so many artists this year that are really standing out. So yes. do you have any favorites yourself? I do. I do have favorites, but I don't think I should tell them just because, you know, when you're part of a competition and you yeah. see other stage and you're like 
saying in front of others, oh my God, you're my favorite. What does the other person think? It's like, I, mm. I, I have a lot of, like, I have actually one really favorite, mm -hmm. but I won't tell it. <laughs> I, will tell, I will tell that person, but in secret. If I see, <laughs> if I see them. <laughs> and so if there was, who's the one person this year performing that you would really like to meet? Uh, you're trying to get you no, no 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 no. It might not be your favorite song. But... No no okay okay. Actually, um, wh who I really want to meet is Daddy, just because last year, uh, his song was my favorite, and it's still one of my favorite Eurovision Song Contest songs of all time. Mm -hmm. Still think about things because I really love that song. So I really want to meet Daddy. Yeah, I think um, like his creativity has definitely been something that I think we've oh, all enjoyed. It's amazing. Yeah. Um. And I guess, uh, um, what would be one message that you would have for Eurovision fans and Eurov and just music fans alike, people that are going to watch the contest? If you had one message to tell them, what would it be? Uh, I always for the Eurovision fans, I've always said, I can't talk. For the <laughs> Eurovision fans, I have always one message that I find really important that they shouldn't see it. Like they shouldn't shouldn't see it as much as a competition as it is. Um, like the the reason why the Eurovision Song Contest got created is to come together, to come into like nationalities coming together and celebrating diversity and music, mm -hmm, and of course. Um, together. And that is the reason why the Eurovision Song Contest got created to bring the European Union together and bring Europe together and. That's what the contest is initially about, and that's what people should more focus on instead of seeing, oh, who's my favorite? Oh, I don't like that one. I hate that song. I hate that one. Oh, he's doing that. Just celebrate each and every one because each and every one has their right to be who they are. And the second message I always have for the Eurovision Song Contest fans, if you have one spot in your top 10 list free, Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think quite a lot of people already have you there, to be honest. Oh, I think, thank I think you. a lot of people, I think that the, I think with what we see with artists as well, it's so much more than a song, it's the personality and the person behind the song. And I think for you, for someone like you, you've brought so much already. Um, I think we're all, we're all really excited to see you in May. I think it's going to be really, really exciting. And I think it's going to be the most anticipated contest ever. So Thank I think you. it's amazing um, that you're part of it as well. Thank um, you. I'm so, yeah, I'm just grateful to be part of it. <laughs> so I guess last thing I'd like to say is thank you so much for joining us. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure. And your answers have been great. You're, it's great having a chat with you. Um, and we wish you the best. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. I, I enjoyed it a lot. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>